Hey guys, what's up? This is Pokemonzer, and today I'm going to start out by showing you something a little new. Now, this is this video is a tutorial on how to create a bucket plugin for Minecraft. Now, as you know, bucket plugins modify the game in a way and make it more compatible for players and more fun for players to play on a server. So, you can ma start with making your own after this video. Um, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is to download Eclipse. So you want to go to Eclipse.org, go to Downloads, and then download Eclipse Standard for Mac OS X or whatever else your operating system is. It should have your operating system there. And the 32-bit and 64-bit is your Java, so if you have 32-bit Java, download that and vice versa. So what Eclipse does is it codes the plugin. It it, it's where you write the code for the plugin. So next, um, you're going to have to download Bucket, obviously, and I'd recommend downloading the latest beta build. Currently, it's 1.7.2 or 0 0.3. So while that's downloading, we're going to open up Eclipse, and we're going to... Here, let me X this out. This is just some stuff I was working on. All right, so you're going to go to, on the left here in Package Explorer, you're going to right-click, you're going to new Java project. And let's name our project my first plugin. Okay, let's just make this full screen for added effects. Okay, so you're going to go up to this. You're going to uh, highlight SRC, right click, new package. Then you're going to name it me dot your name dot um my first plugin. So you're going to now go to new and then class. And you're going to t title it um, my first plugin main. Let's try that. Okay, so now we've got our code. Um, so if you're extremely new to Java, if you've never even touched a Java before and you're like, well, what's a Java? You might want to uh, visit the video that will be in the annotation on the screen right now. Um, but if you already know some stuff about Java, or even a lot about Java, then continue on watching this. So to start out, we want to go to go here, and we're going to do public class my first plugin main um, extends Java plugin. And you're going to see that there's it. Th this is this isn't working. Um, and you want to know why it's not working? Because we haven't used Bucket yet. So in order to use Bucket to make the plugin work, we have to go to My First Plugin, right click, go to Build Path, Add External Archives, and select the Craft Bucket. That's 1.5.2. Let me use a newer one. Uh, build path, add external archives. Sorry, I used an old one. Here, here's a new one. Okay. We want to get rid of this one. Uh, so we're fine. Okay, so we're going to do import. So you highlight, you put your cursor over Java plugin. And there are a bunch of choices here, so you want to click on import Java plugin, org.bucket.plugin.java. So now we've got our plugin. So you want to, this is just the basic, basic setup. And if you try to export this and put it in a server, it's not going to work. So the first thing you want to do is create a new line of code and you type in public void on enable then uh, you type in parentheses then a brace and press enter and then um, you want to create a new line and type public void on disable and this is cap sensitive uh, case sensitive excuse me so um, so first off um, we're going to type below public class my first plugin, my first plugin main extends Java plugin. We're going to do public, no wait, no. 
yeah, public final logger equals logger logger equals this dot get logger and then in in quotation marks minecraft and finish it off with a equals oh no it's not this it's a uh, logger um, and finish it off with a semicolon. Now we're going to hover over this and import logger java.util.logging and we're good now. So now um, in order to say like um, this plugin has been enabled, this plugin has been disabled in the console, you're going to do public, no no excuse me, you're going to do under your public void on enable, you're going to do logger, uh, you're going to do this dot logger dot info and has been enabled. Now we're going to add something else here. Uh, there's a missing quote here. Um, but we're going to add something else here later, and I'll get to that later. And on our on disable, we want to do this dot logger dot info has been dis disabled okay so now we're going to do okay so now we're going to um, type in here plugin description file PDF file equals this dot get description and then we're going to import plugin description file sorry I had that open for a second um, and now it's going to say this is not used and we're going to use it to fix that so we're going to do PDF file dot get name and then plus has been disabled so PDF did I do that wrong okay, I think we have to put PDF file up here yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, because that's bringing it in before. Okay, so now we're going to do plugin description file PDF file equals this dot get description this dot logger dot info PDF file dot get name plus has been disabled. So now it'll say in the console um, when we we have our name of the plugin and we'll create the plugin.yml PDF file later. Um, so yeah, so for um, the next thing that we want to do is just create a simple plugin. So um, in order to have the plugin do something, um, I'm going to do something a little Let's see, okay, I'm going to create a simple command. Um, so you'll learn how to make a simple command in this video. So you're going to do public boolean on command, command cmd, command sender, sender, command label, label, string, args. And then all of this is going to be red, and you want to import it. Import command. Import command sender. And import command. Okay, so this has to be string label. Sorry about that. Okay, so now it's going to be all red. It's going to be like add a return statement. So we're going to type in return true. Okay, so now under this, so to get the name of the command that they're doing, we do public, no, we do if command, if, no, I'm sorry, if label dot equals ignore case, and this means that like if they type it in all caps or some weird combination of caps, it, it will still work because it's ignoring the case. So if command label dot equals ignore case, let's just say hi. So now we do player player equals player sender. And that should be right. Now it's going to say, 
Or now let's change this to player P to make it a little easier. So now it's going to say that it hasn't been used. Uh, so we're going to use it and fix that. So we're going to do P dot. So this is saying when they type hi. We're going to do P dot send message, which sends a message to them. And we're going to do hi. I can't type. Hi. And that's basic. That's the coding of our plugin. And so now we're going to create the plugin.yml, which is going to uh, make it work, basically. So we're going to go to my first plugin, right click, you go to new, and this is important. You click file, not untitled text file, because that can't be a YML. So we're going to name it plugin.yml with this exact caps case whatever okay so now we can open up our plugin.yml and no not in here we can open up click open with uh, text editor yeah okay so we're going to though so there are a few main things that we need to put in this plugin.yml in order for it to work the first thing is name and this is the name of the plugin that we referenced here, PDF file dot get name. So let's name it my first plugin. Yay. Okay, and we need description. My first made plugin learned by taught taught to me by Pokemon. Zer. <clears throat> and there are a few more optional things that you can do in here, such as author, Pokemonzer, or obviously your name, uh, website, uh, let's just say www.hi.com. Um, and we can also include commands in two spaces uh, on each line when you're doing something else, because this is YML code. Um, so we're going to do hi, then enter, two sp more spaces, Des description, description, sends a message of hi to the player. Oh, and before I forget, there's actually one more thing we need to add to our plugin.yml, and that's version. So we're just going to create this version 1.0. Um, so we need to add in our main, so the main thing here. So we're going to put in me dot your name dot my first my first my first plugin dot my first plugin main. And then save that. And now we can finally export it. Next finish yes. Thank you for watching this tutorial. These three piggies would really appreciate it if you left a like, comment, and even subscribe to my channel. Right, piggies? Oink, oink. So, um, keep up to date with the series. I'm gonna have some new videos out soon on this series, and you'll eventually be able to be a master of coding. Um, so thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.